Hello everybody, welcome back to Lair of the Overmind for part 13 of my Let's Play Undertale Pacifist run. We just got done farming a whole bunch of money for the Temi armor and replaying through the game due to me being stupid and not recording when I thought I was recording. Good stuff, good stuff. But we are now moving on with the Temi armor making us nigh invincible. Looks like we're going to have to backtrack just a little bit. So apparently the Temi armor is going to make things too easy. We're going to have to see about that. We've got a mold small that's moving and a mold small that's not moving. Let's go ahead and spare the non-moving one. Mold small is very normal. Let's go ahead and imitate it. You approach mold small suddenly. Whoa! Oh no. Oh no. Whatever could this be? <laughs> Need some distance. Okay, well, let's uh, unhug him. You don't hug Moldbug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. Roar! Yeah, dodge it. Dodge it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Seems comfortable. Spare him. Of course, I knew how to do that because I have run through. I have ran through this already. Yes, indeed. Good old replaying sections is great. Which, by the way, I would like to mention that when I did replay through it, when I first met Flowey initially, he didn't just go through the same spiel. He actually uh, turned up saying, why did you make me introduce myself? Because I already knew him, apparently. So, good to see that Toby is making the game pretty much recognize when you're playing through it again. Kind of gives me hope to play through, I guess, the genocide run as the alternate run of what I'm currently doing, which I will be taking part in after this, and which I'm also kind of dreading a whole lot, because that means I'm going to have to kill off a lot of these characters that I like seeing and talking to and interacting with and stuff. It's going to be kind of heart-wrenching, probably. Come in, so what is fine? No, it's not. Ah. Freaking controller. I really need to get a new controller. Aaron is splashing you playfully. No, don't do that. Shoot. You tell Aaron to go away. Wow, spunky. Love it. No. No, I feel wrong. <laughs> Very bad. Sweating bullets. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to flex in order to get him to go away. Flexing contest, huh? Okay. Let's do it. Ah. Taking like no damage. Pretty awesome. Right, flex again. Flex harder. Aaron flexes thrice as hard. Nice, I won't lose though. Sweating bullets. Man. Dang controller. I know I'm just blaming the controller to blame the controller, but it's cool, because it's really the controller. This thing is a good five years old now. And I've used it like crazy. Alright, let's see here. This way. Oh no, we can't see. Whatever will we do? How about we touch another lantern and light that stuff up again? Yeah. Oh no. We've come to a break. It's getting darker. Be afraid, be very afraid. Hey, look, it's a flower. <laughs> oh no! It's Honda! <laughs> Uh, back up. S Wait, I gotta remember what voice I had going for. I had a pretty good one. Uh, seven, seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. That's terrible. <laughs> With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Oh no. Whatever shall we do? Run. Nope. Saved by Monster Kid. And I'll help you fight. Monster Kid's voice has probably changed several times over by now. Puberty is a powerful thing, I'll tell ya. <laughs> Yo! You did it! Undyne is right in front of you! 
You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? Uh, you're kind of a little bit slow there, monster kid. Hey, you aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Yeah, he's still searching for who he wants to be. It's cool. Run up north this way. You hear a passing conversation. Huh, if I say my way, I promise you won't laugh at me. You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. You hear yet another passing conversation. Someday I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried on it. <laughs> Standing under the sky looking at the world all round. That's my word. You hear laughter. Ha ha ha. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. As my wish, too. <laughs> However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return and the underground will go empty. No way, Morgan Freeman. Who sounds like a echo flower and is super slow for some reason. I don't know. Stuff's pretty empty. Yo! Yeah, what's up? What you want? Yo, I, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but uh, I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, y you're human, right? Huh, <laughs> man, I knew it. Well, I, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> yo, say something mean so I can hate you, please. No. Yo, what? So I have to do it? Well, here it goes. Yo, I I hate your guts. Man, I I'm such a turd. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go home now. Okay, don't fall on your face on the way back. Oh there you go. Oh no! What's going on? Yo, wait, help, I tripped. Oh it's undying. Whatever shall we do? Whatever shall we do? You really should probably save him is really what we should do. That's the right decision to make in the pacifist run. <laughs> y y yo, dude, if, if you want to hurt my friend, you're going to have to get through me first. Yeah, Undyne. You're being threatened by a tiny monster kid. You better back up. You better back up, son. <laughs> See those spikes on his head? They do tons of damage. <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> You really saved my skin, and the fact that he's so small makes him really hard to hit. I'll tell you, that guy's a threat. You don't know. He's a sleeper. <laughs> you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just a nice thought. <laughs> we'll just have to be friends instead. Yeah, I suppose. Why not? Man, I should really go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Yeah, just uh, careful about that face-planting habit you have. Later, dude. <laughs> See you later, monster kid. It was good knowing you. All right, moving on, moving on. All right, so I hope you guys are ready, because here we go. Seven, seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six, that's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. It all started long ago, in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> no, you know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Yeah! She is crazy, by the way. <laughs> you! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams! Elfie's history books made me think humans were cool! With their giant robots and flowery swordsmen! But you! You're just a coward! Hiding behind that kid so you could run away from me again! And let's not forget your wimpy goody two shoes stick! Oh, I'm making such a difference by hugging random strangers! You know what would be more valuable to everyone? If you were dead! That's right, human! Your continued existence is a crime! 
Your life is all that stands between us and our freedom. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts pounding together. Everyone's been waiting their whole lives for this moment. But we're not nervous at all. When everyone puts their hearts together, they can't lose. Now, human, let's end this right here, right now. I'll show you how determined monsters can be. Step forward when you're ready. <laughs> yeah, you think you got us, Undyne? Well, let's see. That's it. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, I'm green. On guard. Undyne attacks. Act. Plead. Don't kill us. We don't want to fight. Nothing happened. As long as you're green, you can't escape! Unless you learn to face danger head on! You won't last a second against me! Oh, what do we got going on here? Says the guy who's done this once before. <laughs> so you basically get a shield that blocks attacks that she's like thrusting at you. It's kind of like blocking her spear, I suppose. Undyne picks up her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Challenge. You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Not bad! Then how about this? Let's see what you got. Oh, ineffective. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Yeah? Okay, so now we basically go into a mercy fit. For years I've dreamed of... For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Undyne suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. And now sunlight is just within our reach! Oh, they're getting faster! Mercy. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. I won't let you snatch it away from us! Okay. You may not have a choice. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm gonna be nice this playthrough, of course, but next run, you better watch your ass. Yeah, Enough warming up! Man, that side spear always gets me. Smells like sushi. That's gross. <laughs> spare. Mercy? Ha! I still can't believe you want to spare me! Yeah, why not? You seem like a pretty cool character. Didn't want you to die. Undyne suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. But even if I spared you... Oh no. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. No human has ever made a past Asgore! So I guess that means to say that there has been somebody who's made a past you before. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy! Really? Whoa! Getting a little crazy. Draws her finger across her neck. Speechless. Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. So stop being so damn resilient! Ah, but I like being resilient. Whoop. Aha, he missed me that time. Undyne draws her finger across her neck. What the hell are humans made out of? Uh, sugar, spice, and everything nice. If Powerpuff Girls are to be believed. <laughs> that was random. It smells like sushi. Alright, spare. Anyone else would be dead by now! Oh no! So many spears! So many spears! <laughs> Undyne flashes a menacing smile! Alfie's told me humans were determined! Up, oh, reverse arrows. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. I see now what she meant by that! Undyne Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can! But I'm determined too! Yeah. Undyne Flash has a menacing smile. Determined to end this right now! Damn it. Undyne Towers threateningly. Despair. Right now! I don't think he got it. The Tem armor makes battles too easy. 
Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Right now! Running out of energy there, Undyne. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Ha! Ha! Never gonna give you up. Undyne flips her spear impatiently. Yeah, die already, you little brat! Never gonna let you down. Oh my gosh, all of the backwards arrows. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Spear, spear, spare. I will never take mercy from the likes of you! Oh yeah? You might have to. You might have to. Undyne is smashing spears on the ground. You will never spare me! Ah, uh, she's getting a little, in, she's getting a little upset. She's getting a little upset. Undyne's eye is twitching involuntarily. Speechless. It smells like angry fish. Speechless again. Don't, uh, don't have a conniption there, Undyne. Smells like angry fish. Still speechless. Alright, so I think at this point, what I need to do is run. Undyne is hyperventilating. Okay, not quite yet. Not quite yet. She is getting all kinds of pissed, though. Undyne is smashing spears on the ground. Speechless. There's one more dialogue box I'm waiting for. Whoop. Almost got me there. Undyne is hyperventilating. Okay, one last turn. And if I don't, whether I get the dialogue box or not, I'm gonna start running. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. All right, so it's time to run. Escape. So the dialogue box I was waiting for was basically checking to see if uh, she was gonna be all like, she checks around to see if this was a prank. Stop running away! Oh, you kind of sounded like Toriel there a little bit. Well, I don't care about that, because I'm going to keep running. <laughs> Later. Bailing. Ah, no. <laughs> Come back here, you little punk. No, run away. Ah, I spared instead of ran. She might actually turn the screen down. Nope. Run. Fire, it's not a good time. Hey, what? Um. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I will think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at our house later. No, no, bad idea. Bad idea. Come back here, you little punk. Nope. Boogity boogity boogity. Whoop 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 whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hey, Sans, what's up? Ah! Yep, Sans is uh, sleeping on the job. Indeed. Run. Oh no, Undyne. She is at the end of a rope. Armor! Armor! So hot! But I can't give up! Oh man. You're done. You're so done. You're lucky I am a nice person right now. Here, have some water. That's you're, you're a fish person. This should help you a bunch. Just pour it on. I'll just pour it on your face there. You know, just uh, just pour it on your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now what? What? Yeah, what? That's right. Get it. Now, if we go back, there's no sands. How unfortunate. Okay, well, this is where I was when I realized I wasn't recording any further. So, yeah, uh, it's good to be caught back up again. Let's talk to this guy. Okay, 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 I was thirsty, I, so I came over here from Waterfall to get a drink. Yeah? It's water cooler. Take a cup of water. Yes, take a cup of water. Take a cup of water. Get rid of the water, yes. Pour it on the ground next to the water cooler. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give that like button a good punch in the face. I'll see you guys next time.